Welcome to my channel Dr. Munshi Nasser Skilton. How are you my dear learners? In this video we are going to talk about what is Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 journals. How do they rank these journals? And what is the purpose of this ranking? Let's talk about those in more detail with several other important Scopus first journal recommendation in this particular video. So without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, we are talking about journal ranking about Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 and this is a website designed for the Calibrate meaning that Web of Science Index and their support system. Here in this particular case, we can see that journal citation reports, we provide quantile like Q1, Q2, Q3 ranking, right? And the, normally, how do we calculate this ranking? The first thing that we can see, the highest ranked journals in a category score rank between 0 to 0.25. And what does it mean? It means that the number of X is represent the journal ranking in that particular category. For example, here in this case, a journal is ranked 78 out of 314 in category. Total journal, let's say business and economics category. There is a 314 journals but out of that that particular journal is ranked 78 now to calculate the z 78 divided by 314.248 which is a q1 journal because it is fall under the 25 percentile meaning that upper 20 percent of the ranking domain so that is the rank of q1 journal category Likewise, if we say the journal ranking is 102 out of 204 journal list, then we can say it is 0.5, which is a Q2 journal. And Q2 rank between 0.25 to 0.5. So this is how we can calculate the journal category Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Now there are other matrices. For example, you can calculate the terciles, quantiles and deciles. So you can calculate those things as well, just like the one that I shared here. Now talking about the impact factor, you can see journal impact factor percentile. The journal impact factor percentile transform the rank in the category by journal impact factor. And how do they calculate the impact factor? N minus R plus 0.5 N. Here N is the number of journals in this particular category. In that case, we can say 314 and R is the descending rank. So the calculation is very simple that 177 minus 104, which is journal rank is 104 out of 177 in a specific category plus 0.5. And in this 0.5, how does it mean? What does it mean the 0.5? So I actually checked GPT and I have found that this means that the rationale behind adding 0.5 is to distribute the weight evenly between the two ranks it falls between so in order to make it even in a statistical analysis we use this 50 50 percent or 0.5 percent in the calculation of journal impact factor so that is the reason why we are using the impact factor and the chat gpt also calculate that 41.5 percent is the journal impact factor or 0.41 and if we go back to that the number is here for 41.525 so as you can see here that the journal impact factor is calculated by the number of the rank of the journal, total number of the journals in that particular category and plus 0.5 divided by the number of journals in that particular category. So we can calculate the journal impact factor percentile likewise. So in this video, uh, so far you understand how the impact factor are categorized at the same time how we calculate the impact factor for a journal. Now let's talk about some very important eight subject domains first scopus journal list where you can publish your next in my previous video i have listed 22 scopus index journals and i hope those journals are useful for your next publication in this particular video there are a few requests coming from my viewers to highlight few of the journal areas for example healthcare law politics and religions electronic engineering, mathematics, social science and humanities, English literature and education science. So I'm going to talk about all of these areas and associated journals in this video. So let's first journal that I'm going to highlight 
is the International Journal of Economic Policy Studies. This is mainly a hybrid journal and it is combination of a political science and economy and political studies. So as you can see this journal is a multidisciplinary policy studies and it is more focusing on effectiveness of different policy and it talks about different issues especially focusing on the Asian economies. And as you can see, it took almost a three months time to get the first decision of your submission. Obviously, this is a good journal and this journal is under a Springer link. It is a Scopus index. And the next journal that we are going to talk about is the Malaysian Journal of Mathematical Science. This journal is focusing on the mathematical science or mathematics. As you can see here that this is a Scopus index journal and also emerging soul citation meaning that the web of science index and this is a very fast journal in terms of publication if you look at the volume it is now 17 volume which means in a year it published almost six issues per year so it's a very fast and scopus index without paying any single money so you can consider this journal malaysian journal of mathematical science the next one we're talking about the Malaysian Journal of Medical Sciences. You may wondering that why I am focusing most of the Malaysian journals. Because recently I am working as a research fellow in Malaysia and I did my postdoctoral here in Malaysia. I did my PhD from Australia and postdoctoral from Malaysia. So I thought that the journals that I have come across during my tenure as a research fellow I have seen several of these journals has a very good publication turnaround and these are Scopus Index fast publication. So in my opinion, if you are interested to submit without paying anything, these journals can be a better choice. Now the next one I am talking about the Indian Journal of Law and Justice. Students, researchers, teachers who are interested to publish their paper from the law background, this is a wonderful place. You can see it is a UGC care listed and a Scopus index. So you can easily submit your next law based journals to Indian Journal of Law and Justice. Next we are talking about studies in Indian politics, especially politics and religion. This is a wonderful avenue. It is published from the Sage Journal and obviously it is in Scopus index. It starts very recently in 2013. Nowadays, it's a very famous in terms of socialist, political and religion studies. So if you are interested to publish your next paper based on politics and religions, this is a good avenue to start with. Next one we are talking about the International Journal of Asian Literatures, Cultures and English. Those who are interested to publish their English language or English linguistic or English literature based journal publication. So this is a good avenue. And as you can see here that this is also a web of science and Scopus index and you do not have to pay anything for this particular journal. This is a very quick fast Scopus index journal. International Journal of Asian Literatures, Cultures and English. Coming back to the education department, you can see Malaysian Journal of Learning and Instruction. This is one of the good journal where you can find a good publication avenue for your education background papers. And this is also a Scopus index, Scopus index and web of science index. So you can easily submit your education based paper to this particular journal. So this is a very good and quick publication and also it's an university based U UUUM University Uttara Malaysia is a university based uh, journal so you can easily take this as an avenue for your fast scopus publication next we're talking about journal of electrical electronics control and instrumentation engineering this is also a very good avenue for electrical engineering background and this is also something very good for your next publication this is a scopus index journal and if you go their board members, submission list, links, contacts, home, you will find that this is a very good avenue for you to publish your next electrical engineering based paper. Next one is the 
Majlisi Journal of Electrical Engineering. This is also an electrical engineering journal where this is a Scopus index and you can submit to this particular journal very easily because it is a very good journal and fast turnaround. Next, we are talking about Journal of Social Sciences and Humanities. As you can see, this is University Putra, Malaysia. This is also a university-based journal and this is a Scopus Index, Web of Science Index and also it's a very fast turnaround. And this is, you see, Scopus and very old as well, 27 years old. So you can easily submit your paper. It's a high impact factor, good indexing and fast publication without paying anything. The final one is the Malaysian Journal of Economic Studies. It's a multidisciplinary journal and of course you can submit your social science papers, political science papers and also multidisciplinary studies. You can submit the paper very quickly to get a publication from here. It's also a Scopus Index, flagship journal of University of Malaya, top university in Malaysia. So all these papers that I'm talking about, the areas, eight subject areas, Healthcare, Law, Politics, Electronic Engineering, Mathematics, Social Science, English Literature and Education. I believe with the request from my viewers and I think these journals are very good for to get a good publication quickly as a fast Scopus Index journal. And you do not have to pay anything to publish in this particular avenue. Some journals they might have asked you a PC but that is very minimum. And in my opinion, if you are interested to publish in a fast Scopus Index journal, overall, these journals are very good. Thank you, my dear learners. I hope to see you with a very interesting video in the next tutorial.